Good morning. Complete disclaimer, this isn't live. We had some real technical issues. For example, the camera was upside down. So if anyone's any good at laptops, webcams, or trying to make this go live, please help me out in the next week or so. So we're gonna start off with a warm up. So I hope you're all ready. So when I shout Hajime, we're gonna jog on the spot. Nolan's gonna help us out as well. And we're gonna, we're gonna get going, we're gonna do some judo. Okay, are you ready? How do you mean? Jogging on the spot? So every time I clap my hands, I want you to do a big tuck jump, so knees to your chest. Jogging on the spot. Now jumping. Forwards and back. Side to side. One foot forwards, one foot back. Arms as well. Now, stars. Feet forwards, arms to the side. Arms forwards, feet to the side. Jogging on the spot. Gonna shout Hajumi, sprinting fast as you can. Hajumi! Faster! And jogging on the spot. One more time, we're gonna go as fast as we can. Watch your Faster. Faster. Mate. Okay. Head circles. Nice and slow. Take your time. And the other way. Look up. And look down. Look over your shoulder and the other side. Now adjust your shoulders, we'll take them forwards, rolling and backwards. Now arms. And backwards. Hands out, fingers. To the side. Ceiling. Back out in front. Both arms to as wide as you can and across your chest, side to side. One arm forwards, big circle. Backwards. Both arm forwards. And backwards. One arm forwards, one arm backwards. You can do it. Other arm forwards, other arm backwards. Hip circles. Big hip circles. Change direction. Okay, stand with your feet apart, wide apart. You okay there, yeah? And touch the floor. Behind your legs. 
touch your toes. Stand up, feet together. Don't bend your knees. Stretch down. Try and touch your toes. And stand up, lift one leg. And if you can, in front like this. And now change legs. Oop. Balance on Nolan. <coughs> Cheat. And in front. Cheat, Daddy. Okay, 10 star jumps as fast as you can. Are we ready? What do you mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten press ups. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten sit ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And if you've got a drink, Get yourself a quick drink now. Do you want to go and get one out of the kitchen? Go, cool. run, run, run. So I'm going to give you an advantage now over Nolan because we're going to play a game and the game is to get some objects out of your house. But when I give you the list, you've got to look at the list and you've got to remember what's on the list. I'm only going to show you once. Remember what's on the list and then you've got to collect them items and bring them back to the room. Okay? Right, are you ready as well, Northern? Yeah. So I'll show these guys the list first, I'm going to show you. You've got to get everything that's on this list. You've got to try and remember as well, okay? So the list is, we have got two tin food, loo roll times 10 million. You only have to get one, but you've probably got 10 million in your house. <laughs> one bra, three soft toys, one set of keys and some blue socks can you all see that i don't have blue socks though. so i'm going to give you 10 seconds you've got to find some oh. okay Maybe yours. so we got 10 yeah. seconds 10 wait northern oh. cheat nine eight seven six five four Three, two, one. How'd you be? So you've got about two minutes to do this. Go, go, go. Nolan has found a bra and loo roll so far. He can't see the list, so let's see what else he remembers. Thirty seconds left. Oh, 
and mate. Okay, let's see what we've found. So, let's go over the list again. So the list was Tim Food, yeah. Lubel, uh, Bra, Soft Toys, Set of Keys, and some blue socks. What did you find, Nolan? In time I got a bra. A bra. And two food. One tin of food. One loo roll. Not ten million. Three soft toys. So tick off the list what you've got. Okay, for those who have haven't played Dead Ant before. We're going to play Dead Ant now, so hopefully you've got lots of space to do this. Yeah. We're just going to use the carpet here. So Nolan's going to show you the different positions, and then we'll go through it, and we'll do it as quickly as we possibly can. Get ourselves moving again, okay? So, position one is like a dog, which looks like this. You go on your hands and knees like a dog. Position two is Dead Ant. On your back, arms and legs in the air. Position three is on your front. So you turn onto your tummy, flatten your front. Next one, on your back, turn onto your back. Catch a ball, jump up, clap your hands, and then disco. So disco you can floss, you can hype, orange justice, take the L, all different types of moves and dances, okay? Right, are we ready? On your front, on your back. Like a dog, catch a ball. Disco, like a dog, catch a ball. On your front, on your back, dead hand. Like a dog, catch a ball. Excellent, okay. So I'm just gonna keep going, keep going faster and faster. Make sure you do every single position, so don't skip any out, and try and keep up with me. You ready? You ready, Nolan? Catch a ball, like a dog. On your front, on your back, dead hand. Like a dog. Catch a ball. On your front, like a dog. Catch a ball. Come on. Catch a ball. Take the L. Like a dog. Dead ant. Catch a ball. Keep moving. Okay. You ready? You're going to go even faster this time. You're doing well. Keep it up. Keep it up. Are you ready? Like a dog. Catch a ball. Take the L. Floss. Like a dog, catch a ball. On your front, on your back, dead hand. Catch a ball. Like a dog. Catch a ball. On your front. Mate. Okay guys, get yourself a quick drink. You've got about 10 seconds. Off you go. Hard work watching here. Okay, so the way we're going to do our break falls is hopefully you will have these items in your house to help you. So we've just pulled a couple of cushions off one of our sofas. So we're going to lay these down here. And we're going to start off as we usually do. Nolan, just stand up a second. So Nolan's going to lie down on here. And we're going to do our mat slaps to start us off. So this is just lying. Nolan, if you lie this way, we'll cross both cushions. That's it, flat on your back there. So I'm going to count to 10, we're going to do 10 break falls, so I want you to do this as loud as you can. Remember it's the palm of your hand that hits, in this case the cushion, and it's your fingertips, as much of your arm as possible I want you to use. So not just putting your hand down, not just landing on your elbows, it's your whole arm that you're going to use this way. And if you can, even now, practice keeping your chin on your chest, because when we get to that bit, we need to keep our chin down when we're doing our backwards break fall. Or you shy roll, you kemi. And while okay. we're doing the fighting, you might want to pause. Okay, lie on your back. Are we fighting today? Okay, cross your arms on your chest. So I'll count to ten, and we'll all do ten break falls together at the same time. Okay, are we ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to practice from our sitting down position. So I want you to sit cross legged at the front of your cushions. You're going to cross your arms on your chest. Keep your chin glued down. I don't want your head to touch at all. Really important. Keep your chin glued to your chest. 
Okay, are you like ready? This. Hachi B. Perfect. Hachi B. Hachi B. Hachi B. Hachi B. Good. Okay, stand up, Nolan. So, from standing, don't fall straight backwards. Make sure you bend your knees as low as you can. We'll demonstrate one first. So you bend down as low as you possibly can, chin on your chest, fall backwards, and hit the mat. And this is all about timing. So making sure you throw your arms out at exactly the same time, this part of your back touches the mat, not the bottom. So as soon as this touches the mat, we're throwing our arms out. Keep your chin glued down. There's no excuse for your head touching now. Keep your chin on your chest. How'd you be? Good, straight back up. How'd you be? It's okay. How'd you be? How'd you be? And one more. Hachi B. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to move into our front break falls. So these are when we've got to be really, really brave. We're falling straight forwards, okay? And the part of your arm you're going to use to protect yourself is your elbows to your fingertips. So we're going to start off kneeling. And you're going to kneel as tall as you can. And it's the elbows to your fingertips that make the contact with the mat, or in this case, our sofa cushions, okay? <laughs> right, so Nolan, you come and kneel up here. Face the camera, back straight, hands strong in front of you. Make that triangle. This, no good, your nose will hit the mat first. So oh. keep your hands in front of you and keep your fingers together and keep it a strong position. You ready, Nolan? They can't hear when you whisper. <laughs> okay, kneel down. Straight back. Here. How'd you be? Perfect, again. So you should be extra brave now if you've got some really squishy cushions on your knees again, Noel. We're going to do five from our knees. So keep them hands in front of you. How'd you be? Two. How'd you be? Three. Back straight. Hachi B. Four. One more. Straight back. Hachi B. Good, okay. Now we're going to be brave. We're going to stand up. So you're going to stand up. You on... can do it. Right. Yeah, if you're feeling confident, you can definitely jump into it. But for now, we're going to demonstrate a straight standing forward break fall. Stand onto the cushions, Nolan. So you're going from the same height. So remember. Keep these hands strong in front of you. I don't want to see this, Nolan, where you're putting your hands down like that. No, that's no good. Keep your hands strong in front of you. Be as brave as you can, falling straight forward. If you've got a parent to help you, they can do this here. So they let, let you fall into the hand, and you can lower them down so they get in the correct position. Once you've done it once, you'll be able to do it a million times. It's just that first time. I, I've done it. I've done it once, so I can do it a million times. Of course you can. Okay, stand up on that. Strong hands in front of you. Are we ready? Hachi B. Perfect. Back up again. Hachi B. Good. Strong hands in front of you. Hachi B. Well done. Hachi be. One more. Hachi be. Well done, excellent. So now we're going to move into sideways break falls. So we'll move our cushions to the side so you can see this a little better. So the sideways break fall, we're going to go into that like a dog position on one side of your cushions. This position here. Uh, just straighten up your, your bottom there. There you go. Okay. Then, one hand, the way you're going, so if you're falling to your right, it's your right hand that goes underneath your tummy. As you roll onto your back, you're going to hit the mat or the cushions with your other hand 
as loud as you can. And it's a very similar brake fall to the back brake fall in the sense that we use as much of our arm as possible to take the brake fall. Okay? So we'll start off with our right hand underneath our tummy and we're going to do three of these, then we'll do three to the left as well. Are you ready? Hachibi! Good. Hachibi! Jump in the gun. Hachibi! 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 Two for luck. Okay, now we're going to go to the other side. Two for luck. Okay, this side. So left arm goes underneath. And we're going to fall that direction. Just because you're falling to your side doesn't mean you can let your head touch the, the cushion. Keep your chin on your chest all the time. Hachibi! Hachibi! Move this way a bit more, so we've got plenty of space. Straight arm with this one, and arm underneath, chin down. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Perfect. Okay, break falls done. Get yourself a quick drink. Off you go. Run. Go, go, go. We'll put these cushions back for now. back okay good so we're going to work on Taitoshi footwork we can do this again with the equipment that we've got in a room you don't need anything special you don't even need a judo suit to do this we will put some jackets on to do our uchikomi if you've got a partner great you can do your uchikomi with your partner you get your dad or your mum to put their dressing gown on and they can help you out with your uchikomi um, if you've not got a partner, don't worry, you can continue to do your uchikomi without one. So, we're going to do Taitoshi, because we've been working on this in the club as well, before the club's closed. So we've been doing Taitoshi footwork, we're going to work on it, and we're going to do Taitoshi and also Tagari going through for the next session next week. So Taitoshi footwork, let's remind you how we do this. If you're right-handed, it's your right foot that steps forwards, and you're going to step forwards at a slight angle to that middle. Okay, so we step forwards like this. So the steps you might want to hold it. Okay, so we step forwards to here. Then you're going to turn around. Remember, the back foot goes behind the front one. Not in front of it. This is no good. We're going to go behind the back foot. And as you go behind, you're going to turn around so you're facing the opposite direction. Here. From this position... We're going to push our feet wide apart and we're going to try and keep our back straight, bending our knees, keeping our head up. So really, really good posture, not leaning forwards, not leaning to the side. Everything is perfectly straight. Okay, so we'll do five slow and then we'll try and speed it up a little bit. Okay, Nolan, if you just move on to that section there. And you do yours there, so we've got plenty of room. So, stage one, step. Two, turn around. Three, wide feet. Let's start again. So when you start again, put your feet shoulder width apart again. Step. Turn around. Wide feet. Bend your knees back straight. Really concentrate on keeping your back as straight as possible. Try to touch your partner's like this. Well, to make it awkward for me. No. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so again, step, turn around, wide feet. Push them feet wide, bend your knees back straight, keep in that position. Again, step, turn around, wide feet. Okay, we're going to do one more, then we're going to do ten fast. But just because we're doing it fast, doesn't mean the technique goes out the window. You've got to try and keep everything exactly the same as when you were doing it slow as well. So again, step, turn, wide feet. Okay, 
I'm going to count Nolan's now, we're going to see how fast he can do it and we're also going to look at Nolan's body position, making sure he's not leaning forwards, keeping his back straight, keeping that chin up so your head's straight as well. Okay, are we ready? So we're going to repeat this. One. Okay. We spotted a mistake, so let's go start again. Let's go again. So, step, turn, wide feet. Okay, it's got to be all three stages. Let's go again. How do you mean? Step, turn, wide feet. Again. So when you step, turn, wide feet, you're bringing that foot back in. I don't want to hear and just spin around. This is no good. Step, foot in, wide feet. Right, let's see what you call me this. Are we ready? How do you mean? Step, turn, wide feet. Step, turn, wide feet. Step, turn, wide feet. Step, turn, wide feet. Okay, now let's bring the technique, break it down a little bit. I don't want to see you jumping now like I was. That was just for speed. So what we're going to do is step. You're going to try and keep your feet as close to the floor as possible. It's quite tricky on a carpet, but we'll manage it. So step, turn, keep them feet as close to the floor as possible. Slow it down a bit. Let's get the technique perfect. Let's do five. Step, turn, wide feet. Step, turn, wide feet. Step, turn, wide feet, step, turn, wide feet, one more, step, turn, wide feet, perfect, well done. So that's Tayatoshi, we're going to rep that with our partner in a little while, we're just going to go over Oso Tagari next and then we'll put them together with our partner doing the Uchi Kami. So Oso Tagari, this is where we balance on one leg. So it's slightly different. If you're right-handed, you're going to step forwards with your left. If you're left-handed, you're going to step forwards with your right. So left foot forwards, because I'm a right-handed player. You're going to balance on that leg. You're going to swing that leg forwards. You're going to push your hips forwards at the same time, trying to keep this good posture. As you swing back, trying to keep your body as straight as possible and turning your head slightly. Okay? Step. Balance on that leg, swing the hips forwards, swing back, turn, okay? Step, balance, swing, push. And with your partner, if you had a partner, you would imagine that when you do your step, you're pushing your hips past your partner for the swing. So I step and I push my hips past Nolan, and then I swing back, okay? So let's do five of those. Step, balance, swing. Back to the start. Start from the beginning. Step, balance, balance swing. swing. Again. Step, balance, balance swing. swing. Two more. Step, balance, swing. swing. Last one, step, balance, balance swing. swing. Okay, now if you have a partner, I want you to repeat that with your partner. We're going to do it with our jackets on, do a bit of Uchikomi with it. We'll start with Tai Toshi, then we'll do also Tagari. We'll do 10 of each, slow, and then 10 of each as fast as we possibly can. Okay, so me and Nolan are just going to put our jackets on. If you've got your jacket, you can pause it and go and get it. Get your, your mum or your dad to get their dressing gown on if they've not got a judo jacket. And we can do our Uchi Kami with our partner now. So, let's look at the grip before we start. We're all going to take the same grip. If you're a right handed player, I want your right hand to go on your partner's collar with the thumb going up. Fingers going in, thumb going up the collar. Not like this. We don't need to use our thumb to grip. It uses a lot of energy to use your thumb to grip, whereas it's just as strong with your fingers. 
and your thumb pointing up. The grip on the sleeve, so if you're right handed it'll be a left hand or vice versa, goes on the sleeve and I want you to take a lot of cloth into your hand so we're pulling all this in. We'll get close to the camera so they can see. So you're pulling all of this cloth in so that you've got control of your partner not just their jacket. This is no good. So, right hand collar, left hand sleeve. We're going to start with Tayatoshi and we're going to try and do exactly the same footwork that we've just been practicing. So it's step, turn around, all the way around and wide feet. Now, this position here is not quite right for Nolan because this arm is straight. If that's what you're doing as well, bend that arm, you want your partner close to you and you want to pull this arm up in front of your face. You nearly threw me. Back out. So, step with your right foot Nolan, start again. Turn around, bend that arm as you do it. Wide feet. Bit wider with your feet. Don't worry about pulling with your arms just yet. Just stand in that position. Back out. Step. Turn. Wide feet. Perfect. Back out. But two more to do. Step. Turn. Wide feet. And step. Turn. Wide feet. Excellent. Now you see with the position Nolan finishes, he's right in front of me. So he's right underneath my body weight. So as he pulls this arm here, and he's got his slight bend in his knees, I'm going to go over. If I'm here, this is no good. If I'm stood to the side of him, it's no good either. So you get yourself right in the middle of your partner. Right, also Tagari, we'll do five of those, and then we're going to speed it up. We'll do ten of each really fast. Try and get your heart going. So, also Tagari, again, it's exactly the same grip. Collar and sleep, feet apart, no look. You're going to step, no, just stand still with your feet apart, step, balance, push your hips forwards, and I want you to just go calf to calf. So you're putting the back of your leg on the back of your opponent's leg, your partner's. And go back out to face your partner, all the way back out. Feet apart, no, look. And you're going to step, balance, swing, push your hips forwards, calf to calf, and back out. Okay, do you think you can do that? So, Nolan steps, bigger step than that, right next to my leg. Balance on that leg, swing, hips forwards, and then calf to calf. Then back out, all the way back out to face your partner. So you should start from exactly the same position each time. So, judo grip, step, big step. Balance, swing, Calf to calf. Perfect. Back out. Big step. Balance. Swing. Hips. Calf to calf. One more. Step. Balance. Swing. Calf to calf. Okay. Now we're going to go fast. We're going to do ten fast with Tai Toshi. So remember the stages. It's step, turn around, wide feet. Okay, so then three stages. Don't skip it out. Just because we're going fast doesn't mean that you can just do a step and spin. No, do every single stage. And I'll correct Nolan as we go in. Biggest correction point for most of us is this arm. This arm needs to be working on the collar. You've got to bend that elbow underneath. You've got to lift this one in front of you as well. But this arm is where the power comes from. Okay. So... Tayatoshi. Are we ready? We'll do ten. Hajime. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Excellent. Get yourself a quick drink. Go, go, go. Quick drink. Oh, 
I want to do 10 more Tayatoshis after the drink and then we'll do Oso Tagari. We'll see if we can do a little combination as well with those. We'll have a look at your partner doing it. Okay, so if you've done your 10 and your partner wants to do a set of 10, we're ready to go. Tayatoshi again. Judo grip, Nolan. Collar and sleeve. Remember, thumb pointing up the collar, using your fingers for the power of the grip. Okay, are we ready? So it's the other person, or if it's by yourself, we're going to do this again. Remember, if you're doing the shadow with Chikomi, just to get all the positions correct. Back straight, feet wide apart, try and get it as perfect as you possibly can if you're doing this by yourself. Okay, Nolan, Tayatoshi. Step, turn, wide feet. That's one. We're going to do ten. Go. Two. Get them positions right. Three. Bring this leg in further. There. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Perfect. Okay. We're going to move into Oso Tagari. Again, we're going to do two sets of ten. If you're by yourself, then it's step, balance, hips, forwards and swing. If you're with your partner, we're going to go calf to calf and you're going to use your judo grip as well with this jacket on. So, Oso Tagari. Let me show you a, an Oso Tagari first and then Nolan can do ten feet apart, Nolan. So it's step. When you make that step, make sure you go if not anything, a little past your partner's leg. Yeah. If I'm here, I'm overstretching, I'm off balance, I'm going to get countered. Yeah. So I need to make sure I step forwards here so I'm close, swing that leg through, calf to calf. Okay, are we ready? One. Good, back out. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to try and do that again. This time, Nolan, when you're doing it, I want you to make sure you go all the way back out to facing me again. So each time, don't be sad. Each time we do the technique, we start from that position, exactly the same position, okay? So let's go again. Judo grip. One. All the way, that's it, good. Big step. Two. Now concentrate, keeping this head up. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Well done. Great. Shake hands. Okay, so we're going to play a little gripping game. And then we'll play our last game to finish off. So we've got five minutes left in the lesson. So the gripping game, dead, dead simple. All you're going to do is you're going to try and fight for that collar and sleeve grip. Okay? So you're going to try and bat off your partner. And they're going to try and get, get, off, get your grip off you. Okay? So are we ready? So you're going to face your partner. When I shout, Hajimi, you've got roughly a minute to try and find that collar and sleeve grip. Right? What do you mean? So we've got to try and fight for that grip. If you're a right-handed player, make sure you're going for the right hand on the collar. I like to take the sleeve first to stop my opponent from getting my collar. Now I've got the sleeve, get the collar. Ah, he's down. One point to me. Are you ready? How do you mean? Let's go. So trying to fight for the grip. That's it. Ah, one point to Nolan. So it's 1-1. One, one. Good work. Collar and sleeve. 
What do you mean? Trying to get that collar and sleeve grip, trying to fight for it. Push your opponent away. If they get it first, don't be scared to push that hand off. Break the grip. What are you doing, ballet? Spinning round. Woo! <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. Yeah, one point to Nolan, so it's 2 1. What do you mean? Fight for the grip. Don't turn your back. Keep facing your opponent. That's it. If you don't like the grip, break it off. Try and catch the sleeve to prevent them from gripping you. Oh. I've got a grip. What score is that? Is that 2 2? Yeah, 2 2. Okay, first of five. Scores. Okay, you ready? What do you mean? Fighting for that grip. Got the collar. Is he gonna get the sleeve? Come on. That's not fair. You got it. Ah. Yes. Nolan got it. Three, two. What do you mean? Fight for the grip. Come on, be strong. Get up. No. No. I've got it. Three, three. What do you mean? Grip fighting. <laughs> Keep going for it. Come on, you've got it. Four yeah, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm winning. What do you mean? You can't. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm not killing my way. <laughs> Yay, I win. How do you mean? Mate. Well done, well done. Okay, face your partner, Ray, shake hands. Excellent. So, before we do our exercises, we're going to play a very quick game. We're going to play a game of opposites. It's going to be quite difficult to do over the camera, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, we practiced this the other day, so hopefully we can uh, show you how it works. So, opposites, dead simple. You do the opposite to what I say. I'm going to try and catch you out. You've got to do all the positions that I say. You're going to go on um, your front, on your back, stand up, sit down. Are you going to catch us out like, sit down now? Yes, of course. And if I say raise two hands, it means raise one. If I say raise one hand, it means raise two. Okay? So let's have a little practice and then we'll do this. Are we ready? Sit down. Stand up. On your back. On your front. Stand up, sit down, raise one hand, two hands, one hand, two hands, one hand, two hands, two hands, one hand, stand up, sit down, on your back, on your front, stand up, sit down, <laughs> you got to do every position, stand up, oh, so you got it wrong, you're going to be oh, useless, okay, go and stand here again. Are you ready? No. Look at this. Sit down. Stand up. On your back. On your front. On your front. On your back. Stand up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No. Stand up. Ah, I got him. Okay, Mate. Well done. I was like, no, no, no. So you probably guess what we're going to do at the end now. We do it quite often in the club. Yeah. And if we do it... Our if we do it good... First one. time round, if we do it perfect, Three. then we only have to do it once. Oh, so it's 10 star jumps, 10 press ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squats. Exactly right. So 40 exercises, 10 of each. We've got star jumps, but your star jump, we're going to touch the floor and jump up a big star. Try not to knock your head on the lights at the same time. Second Two one star. is squats. No, we're going to bend down as low as you can, oh. not using your hands on your legs. Then we've got press ups, simple press ups this way. Nine, so keeping your back ten. straight. And then we've got the sit ups, which is hands behind your head, elbows to knees. One, okay? So, two, three. Let's do it together to my count. We'll do it all together to my count, okay? So you've just done a few extras to warm up. So, star jumps, 10, just like this. Are you ready, Nolan? Wait for it. How'd you be? One. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten squats. You ready, Nolan? Come on, let's do this. One, two, three, four. And try not to do five. Try not to just do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, press up position. Let's get ready. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And finally, sit ups. Hands behind your head. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, Three. ten. I think we can do one more set of that. So everybody stand up. Come on, this is the final effort. And then you can go and do your schoolwork. No! Okay, no. are we ready? No. So, star jumps. Let's do this. The best we've ever done in our life. The best star jump you've ever done. No. How do you mean? <laughs> one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on Nolan, eight, nine, ten, squats, back straight, bend your knees as low as you can, one, come on Nolan, two, three, four, five, six, seven, useless Nolan, eight, Nine, <laughs> ten, and press up position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and finally sit up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mate, son of mate, that is all. Okay, guys, let's face your TV. Arms by your sides. Back straight. And right. So guys, when you're doing this video, I'll probably be doing some some work with Nolan. Uh, hopefully, we can try and solve the the situation of not being able to go live. So I'll still continue to work on it. As I say, if anybody anybody's parents have a, a little bit of te technology mind, they can help me out and we can try and make this go live. In reading up on it, I think you have to have something like a thousand users, uh, subscribers to go live, which we haven't got. But hopefully we can find a way way around it without using the webcam, which I is upside down. I was trying to get 100,000 subscribers. You wanted to get 100,000 subscribers? Yeah. Okay. So what do you say? Click the, what, what do they say? Click the subscribe button. No. Um, down below. No. No, smash it like this. <laughs> Don't really. Just, just. Flip. So I want you to send pictures. I want you to send videos of what you're doing. I'm going to look at it. some videos, and the person who's putting the most effort in, you're going to get player of the week. If you get player of the week, then you get to pick an activity for next week's session. Okay. So send your videos to me via WhatsApp. Send the pictures. I'm going to look at who's working hard, who's got the sweatiest head, and that person will get play of the week to pick an activity for next week. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Over and out.